be speaking this morning on what I've entitled Thou Son of David. Thou Son of David. Isaiah 55 verses 1 to 4. Isaiah 55, verses 1 to 4. Everyone that tasted, that tasted, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfied not? Hacking diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear and come unto me, hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the certain sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given for him a witness to the people a leader and commander to the people. Even the sure mercies of David. Even the sure mercies of David. Hebrews 4, 14 to 16. Hebrews 4, 14 to 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So there is a throne of grace and it's at that throne that you obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Matthew 9. 27 to 31. Matthew 9. 27 to 31. Jesus heals the blind and the dumb. And when Jesus departed thence, Two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy. My Bible had license, it says, Jesus heals the blind and the dumb. So, they had a uh, two major needs in their individual lives. There are two of them. Or they had one need. They were blind. The dumb one is another story. So they had a need in their life. They could not see. 
And uh, they heard that Jesus was passing by the way. And rather than say, open our eyes, they said, thou son of David. So, they were telling him of his genealogy. In Yoruba language, it's called the uh, Oriki. So, for those who are very traditional people, when they hear their Oriki, ah, all the money in their pocket has finished. That's the end of it. Yeah. So, at this money, I'm going to use it to pay school fees. And then one uh, wicked talking drummer just come. Begin to be make like this. Kind of the thing will be, uh, will be pinching himself. Ah, this money is for school fees. This money is for school fees. The talking, the talking dumb man knows. So he'll be beating the thing. Koi, 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 koi. Small, small that will bring out the money. See, I didn't know. Ah, those talking drama, they are using charm. <laughs> so that's what this uh, blind man did here. They began to talk about his oriki. They didn't just go straight to say, come and open our eyes. Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came. They were persistent. They didn't give up. So if they were blind, and they were able to follow him to where he was going to. They must have had a helper. Somebody to lead them by the way. You need a helper. I pray for you this morning. You will locate your divine helpers quickly in Jesus' name. Amen. There was no way for two blind men to have followed him per adventure from Falomo to this place. Now, somebody must lead them by the hand. I pray for you again this morning, even as you have entered into this new month of May, even as you have entered into this second trimester of the year, your divine helpers locate you in Jesus' name. Your divine helpers locate you in Jesus' name. Those men, those women, those organizations, those companies, as it were, that we hold you by the hand and say, follow me, I'm taking you to the place of divine encounter. I say, let them locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them help you in Jesus' name. They followed him. And when he was coming to the house, the blind man came to him. Jesus said unto them. So, the first time he didn't say anything. When they were doing the oriki and the mercy like that. Faith that yields result requires persistence. Faith that leads to testimonies requires importunity. Jesus said unto them, believe ye that I'm able to do this. Without faith it's impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that God is and God exists. Then is God the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. For by faith we understand that the elders obtained a good testimony. Believe ye that I'm able to do this. That which is not possible with man is possible with God. For nothing shall be impossible with God. Believe ye. Meaning that the fact that you are asking does not necessarily mean that you believe. James tells us that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And let not that man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord, even though he's asking. I pray this morning that the Lord will cure you of double-mindedness in Jesus' name. Amen. On Mount Carmel, Elijah told the people 
Why do you halt between two opinions? Why are you double-minded? If Baal is God, follow him. If Jehovah is God, follow him. In Revelations, we are told it is better to be lukewarm if you are not hot. Don't be in between. Do you believe I'm able to? You are here this morning, you have been asking, you have been praying, but do you really believe? It says when you believe with your heart, When you believe with your heart. Believe ye that I am able to do this. He said unto him. Yea Lord. Then touch he their eyes saying. According to your faith be it unto you. That is the law of faith. According to what? The just shall live. Not by the pastor's faith, not by your husband's faith or your wife's faith. They just shall live their faith. That's the law of faith. Be it to you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly charged them saying, See that no man owe it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his frame, his fame. In all that country. The Lord show you mercy. You know, mercy is very powerful. Very powerful. It's not of he that wills to run. Romans 9, 15 to 18. Romans 9. 15 to 18. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. The Bible says, one plants, another waters, but God gives Everybody has gone to the farm. Everybody has planted uh, cassava, pineapple, mango, papa. But God gives increase. I pray for you this morning. All your effort, may God give increase to it in Jesus' name. All your labors. May God give increase to it in Jesus' name. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have, and on whom he will he had net. Their eyes were open because they asked for mercy. They didn't go straight to saying, this is what I need. Just show us mercy. Just show us mercy. Matthew 15, 21 to 28. Matthew 15, 21 to 28. It's also found in Mark 7, 24 to 30. The story is also found in Mark 7, 24 to 30. But I read the one from Matthew. Matthew 15, reading from 21. My Bible had lies in the fate of the Canaanite woman. So this woman is a, she's a Gentile. She's not a Jew. She's not entitled to the covenants of promise, which include healing. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan, uh, in another place she's called the Syrophite, Phoenician woman, came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord. Then she started the Oriki, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So you see how she started. Lord, is mercy I need. Then the oriki, then the need. My daughter is grievously vexed 
with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. You see, importunity and persistence again. He didn't answer. The first story also, he didn't answer that. And then they followed him to where he's going to. But he answered that not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cried after her. So she kept on repeating the same thing over and over again. Have mercy on me, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I know my assignment. I know my calling. I know those who have been sent to. Mercy will override all of that. Hmm. And he answered and said, I'm not sent unto the lordship of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Hmm. Just help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. The Jews referred to Gentiles as dogs. Can you imagine? You meet a servant of God for prayer. He didn't answer you. You are following him as he's going. You are shouting, help me, sir. Help me, man. He didn't answer you. His assistants turned to him. Ah, answer this woman so that she can tr stop troubling us. He didn't still answer them. Then when he was going to answer, he said, God did not send me to you. I know who I was sent to. No mind that. That's what they, they do. Not only in God call, then you go. Jesus said, if you are offended in my word, it cannot profit you. Then the next time he's going to talk again now, what did he say? He said, you're a dog. How many people will still stay? Seven, 27. And she said, truth, Lord. I'm not agreeing with you that you have called me a dog. Truth, Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. That's the law of faith. According to your faith. And her daughter was made whole from that very I don't have to agree with somebody. But I must not be disagreeable. Especially if they send the person to help me. So God tells me now, that servant of mine, do X, Y, Z. And the person just uh, treat me shabbily. My focus is on what I want to obtain, not on the abuse or the insult. When I've gotten what I want, I go my way. O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, accord, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very uh, mercy and the law of faith. Matthew 20, 29 to 34. Matthew 20, 29 to 34. There's another different story of two blind men. Two blind men received their sight. And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude uh, followed them. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, 
thou son of David. And the multitudes rebuked them. Religious people. You have to be very careful of religious people. And the multitude rebuked them because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And Jesus stood still and called them and said, What would you have? What will ye that I should do unto? They say unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Lamentations 3, verses 21 to 27. Lamentations 3, 21 to 27. This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, yet my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he, should, that he bear the yoke in his... It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his what? When he's still... Uh, from a few years ago, one servant of God, about three or so years ago, came to see me. For counseling. So he talked the matter, go talk and talk and like this. I was listening. I didn't see anything. Went on 30 minutes, 45 minutes, like one and a half hours. I was just listening. You know, at times you would think that maybe I'm not paying attention, but I'm paying attention. I needed him to unburden um, himself, talk every story. So he talked the whole story, this, that, blah, blah, blah. And uh, at that time, I think he was just going to be, maybe he was just going to be 50 around that time or the next year or something like that. So he went on into the story. Then when he finished, I turned to him. I said, have you suffered before? Ah. He was shocked. He said, sir, what do you mean? I said, just answer my question. No? I said, because you are around 50 years now, I, have you suffered before? So he's looking at me. But that's not what he wanted to hear. I said, have you suffered before? I said, all this your story that you are saying now, you have not suffered before. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. I said, the suffering that you were supposed to have suffered when you were 20 and 30, you were dodging it. Dodging it like this, dodging it like this. I said, it has caught up with you now. That was the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, say, let me go and come back. I said, no, don't go here. Sit down there. You know, I, I've been listening to you for one and a half hours. Let me talk now. Uh, I said, the story of your life, as you were saying it now until recently, the thing is just going zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, I said, now, what God has done, he pressed the brake. And handbrake. If you are driving a car, you press the brake and the car will not do like one to some and tumble. Mm. I said that's what they have done now. They just press the brake and the handbrake. Did you want that to? <laughs> <laughs> they just 
looking at me. I said, no. I said, you have been dodging that suffering since. That's what they told me. You have been dodging that test since you were like 20. You have been evading it, evading it. Uh -huh. Now they say you are not going anywhere. I said the reason why it's very difficult now is that you're an old man now because uh, at 50, you suffer that you would have suffered when you were 20. You know, if you are 20 or 30, you can come, uh, brother, I will give me 500 naira. Uh, brother, give me 1,000. Now you have wife, you have three Peking, you are in university, everything. How much money are you going to borrow now? He's looking at me. Uh, it's good for a man to do what? Bear his yoke in his what? Uh -huh. It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Mark 10. Forty six to fifty two. Mark. Mark ten. Forty six to fifty two. Blind Bartimaeus receives his sight. And they came to Jericho. When you look at those stories, it looked like there were plenty of blind people in Jericho. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. So he's both blind and uh, poor. You know, there are people who are blind, but they are not poor. Years ago in the mid-90s, came across some man, he was an able trader. And uh, he wanted to buy a piece of land from a client of mine. Maybe that land today would be what? Uh, I don't know. I think it was like 20,000 square meters, lucky face one. So it probably would be what billions today. Yeah. And how much was it then? This was like 1995, 96, 16 million naira. Yeah. The, 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 the country has gone, I don't even know what to say. So he wanted to buy it. And uh, people who have eyes could not find 16 million naira to buy it. And the man didn't have eyes. But very rich. What did I say? Very rich. Yes, I know. It's good to have eyes. Say amen. amen. Well, if you have eyes and you not get money, what do you get? You don't do. It's of no use, sir. <laughs> ah, you want to exchange your eye for money? Don't exchange your eye for money. He had money. And uh, I think when the, the, the seller is my client, when he started, he wasn't even looking for that kind of money, maybe like 12 million. And people were coming. And this man said, I will pay more, I will pay more. Ah. So his agent came and troubled me. So I said, okay, no problem. So we set up a meeting. And he came with his agent or lawyer or something and his wife. So I'm seated, we're waiting. So when they walked in, ah, this, the wife that is holding his hand, my client is looking at me, me too, I'm looking at him like this. Ah, is this the person that they said he has more money than people that have eyes? So the man told he said, ah, he said, are you sure? I said, I, I surprised, sir. So the fellow sat down. 
He said, I want to buy the land. I want to buy the land. I want to buy the land. I'm looking at him, look at my client too. He said, and so I'm ready to even pay. Man was looking for 12 minutes. I would pay like 16 million or something. Ah. Then he turned to his wife. He said, bring out my checkbook. So the woman brought out the checkbook. He said, fill it. If it's uh, today now, all this... Uh, Yeah. You didn't give them your checkbook. You didn't give them ATM card. They are still stealing your money. <laughs> yeah. They said they are using one thing, USS, USSD. My something, I don't even know what they call the thing. Plus something, minus something, star, something, something. They say, you just, you just be seeing a lot. We're running out of your a bank account. Fear, 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 fear. So the wife brought out the checkbook. We are looking like this. He said, eh? he said do you agree to the 16 million? Ah. The, my, he said, oh, yes. Ah. So he told the wife, hey, I feel it. Feel the thing. Sign it. She signed. Give it to them. She's the one that is filling the checkbook and signing and everything. So he said, okay, you should go and pay it now. The man paid the thing after by for the thing clear. And he doesn't have eyes. He wrote you. This is your eye, what is it for? Pious Richard. Ah, if you see that girl, oh my God. And that's the only thing you are using your eye to do. Ah. Oh boy, if you see comfort. Ah, I must marry comfort. Oh. That's the only thing your eyes see. A man that does not have eyes, he has more money than. I went to go and tell God, I need my eyes, but I also need money. Uh, can they trust you with checkbook and uh, make you signatory? Eh? Uh, <laughs> all this one, all this one, they have gone to Canada. Yeah. We'll just come next Sunday. Uh -uh. Where is the Rachel and promise all of the ass? Pastor, they have gone to Canada. Yeah. The woman is the one that will fill the and one cupboard. The man was telling us one cupboard his money has never missed before. One cupboard like this. She will he will just tell us, right? So so and so to and then sign yourself. They used to say something in Yoruba. Emma told you, "Wa fire sile, wa He said, "Don't go and marry wife." And the reverse also: "Don't go and marry husband because uh, don't go and marry wife because she's beautiful. Look at her character." Uh, remove that thing. Let me see. You to remove your. Let me see. Uh -huh. Ah, all these ones. King of girls. Uh, where is that boy that is doing camera? I look at that one. Uh, bearded gang. That's the latest now. Bearded gang. You know, and that's what they used to chop all the girls in Lagos. Just uh, you two, you have beards. Uh, bearded gang. Uh, continue to look at beards. Uh, don't look at the man's character. Ah, I like that man, Bia Bia. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
you will know that time. Uh, uh, hmm. They asked one woman, uh, why don't you want to marry the man again? Ah, he said, I can't marry him. They said, oh, why don't you, read story, why don't you want to marry him? He said, ah, no, 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 no. His father's father was bored. His father was bored. He too is bored. Ah, my children will be bored. I can't marry him. Uh, can you imagine? That's the reason why she can't marry him. In their family, everybody is bored, 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 but I don't want my children to be bored. She has not looked at the man's character. It's the head like this. She's looking at So Timaeus is both blind and a beggar. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David. When you look at all the stories I've read, there's the issue of mercy. Have mercy on me. And everyone that asked for mercy received what they want. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal, persistency. Thou son of David, again he says, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man. God cannot shut his ears to the cry for mercy. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What we down that I should do unto thee? The man has two needs. He is blind and he is poor. So look at what he said. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What we thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. He did not remember that he was also poor. I need to see and I need money. What is the use of beer as if you don't have money? Nothing. Kai, you must have money. And this one already asked wife, you have money, but you must have money. Rabbi, you heard what they said. What is the use of beers without money? Uh, you have money. You heard what I said? Those girls said they don't really like beer, beer. They like beers with money. They like what? I'll be carrying beard all over Lagos. Beard that Emmanuel, where is he? If you see that boy's beard, I'll just be looking at him like this, as if they are using it to collect money in the bank. Fool! Like Ojuku, fool! At least Ojuku had money. If you, where is the boy? Ah! Stand up! He's uh, <laughs> uh, using that beer to deceive uh, Ayobami. Uh, uh, I will be seeing him, he'll be, he, he be calling her Becky. Uh, uh. <laughs> the first day I had, I was wondering who is Becky. Uh, I didn't know, I didn't know they have pet name. Uh, Becky. If you like followed beers without money. Uh, have beers and have money. Have what? Bow your heads this morning. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. All heads bowed, all eyes closed in an attitude of prayer. Let's talk to God this morning. I want you to pray just one prayer for as long as, until I say amen, a prayer for mercy. 
a prayer for mercy. You are here this morning, you are not yet born again, you are not saved. The Lord wants to show you mercy, he wants to welcome you into his family, into his household. If you are here this morning, you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, just raise up your hand wherever you are, say a word of prayer with you. You have never at any point in time handed over your life to Christ. He's here this morning to show you mercy. You want to invite Jesus into your life. Just raise up your hand wherever you are. I'll say a word of prayer with you. I want the rest of us to talk to God this morning. Everyone in those stories, they will first ask for mercy before saying, this is what I need. And everyone that asked for mercy caught the attention of the son of God, the son of David. You have been praying, I have been praying. It's time to fall on the mercy of God. It's time to fall on the mercy of God. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. Even as you go into this new month, even as you go into this second trimester of the year, every second, every minute, every hour, every week, every day of this second trimester of the year, show me mercy. Bring members of your household, your family, your kit and kin, husband, wife, children, brothers, sisters, bring your business, your finances before God and ask for mercy. It's not of he that wills to run, but of God that shows mercy. He said, I will both show mercy and compassion unto whom, unto whom, the eyes of the Lord move through and forth throughout the length and breadth of the earth. God is looking for but one man on the behalf of whom he might be strong. Ask God to show you mercy this morning. Ask God to show you mercy this morning. The Bible says two men came into the temple. And one was boasting about what he had done. I've done this, I've done that, and this and that. And the other one, uh, as it were, asked for mercy. He said, have come short, just show me mercy. I've come short, just show me mercy. And Jesus asked the listeners a question. Of these two men, who do you think was justified? He said, the one that asked for mercy. He said, then go and do so likewise also now. Go and do so. It's a prayer that you need to pray all the time. All the time. I want this thing. Lord, show me mercy. I want this thing. Lord, show me mercy. I want this thing. Lord, show me mercy. Let that be your prayer. Precious Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We worship you. We exalt you. We lift you high. We glorify your name. Father, I pray for everyone here this morning and everyone under the sound of my voice. Let them be recipients of your mercy in Jesus' name. Father, in every area, every aspect, every sphere of their life, whatever it is that is ailing them, the challenges and difficulties that they are faced with, Lord, resolve by reason of mercy in Jesus' name. Father, I commit them into your hands this Monday, second trimester of the year. Lord, show your sons and your daughters mercy. Let your name be glorified. This are done with thanksgiving in Jesus' name.